Hi, my name's Rob Hartley and I wanted to talk to you today about the problem with water bottles for flexible endoscopes. As it happens, I'm showing the Olympus one now, but it's the same problem with all makes of flexible endoscopes, Pentax, Fuji and Olympus. And the problem is, is that as we discovered about 12, 15 years ago, is that these water bottles were getting contaminated. And the reason they were getting contaminated was that the room air comes in through the side of the video processor here and comes out through here and that's what pressurises the water bottle. The problem with that system is any airborne contamination is going to end up in this water bottle and end up in the water. So if you're doing a colonoscopy list and you've got the smell of faeces in the air, you will have small particles of faeces being deposited into this water bottle. Obviously, as the day goes on, it becomes more and more contaminated. It's impossible to decontaminate these water bottles properly because what you've in essence got is a tube within a tube, so almost like double glazing. So when you send this away to be autoclaved, it wasn't killing the microorganisms. So when studies were looked at these water bottles, almost every single one of them was found to be contaminated with a wide variety of different microorganisms. All of those obviously posing a hazard to the patients. What happened about 12 years ago is somebody came up with a good idea and that was to take a standard bottle of sterile water and to attach to it a semi-disposable uh, cap. This connected up to the endoscope in the same way and theoretically it should solve the problem. Well now I've explained how the water actually gets contaminated you'll realise that even though this is semi-disposable used only for a day you've still got the same problem. If at the end of a colonoscopy list that you've been using this, that water that's in that bottle will no longer be sterile. It will have a small bits of small samples of faeces of all the patients that have been treated that day. One of the things that we often say to endoscopy nurses is do you feel comfortable about drinking that water out of the bottle after a long colonoscopy list? And obviously nobody is comfortable about doing that. So the only way of solving this problem of this contaminated water is to actually try to isolate the sterile water from the room air. And what we've developed is something called the anaconda. And the anaconda basically takes a standard bottle, sorry, standard bag of sterile water. This one's made by Baxter's, but they're all pretty much similar. So we have a one litre sterile water that's normally used for irrigation purposes. And what we do is we put that sterile, water, sterile bag into a cuff. A little bit like the sort of cuff that your local doctor might use to take your blood pressure. So if we connect up the anaconda now to the endoscope, switch on the video processor, the first thing you will see happening is this cuff starts to inflate. And as the cuff inflates, it squeezes the bag. But because of the fact that there's an impermeable barrier between the air and the water, it means is that the water will stay sterile for however long it's used. And the actual anaconda itself actually just looks like this. So what we have is a connection to the endoscope, whether it's Fuji, Pentax or Olympus, a clip to stop it dripping when you detach it, a spike that goes into the water bag, so the spike simply goes into that, that part here on the water bag, and then a little connection up there that allows this air, which if you remember is coming in through the video processor, out through the scope, it now inflates this cuff which squeezes, which is why we called it the anaconda, squeezes the water. Now this has three major benefits for endoscopy units. The first and most obvious one is the water is sterile. Every other system that's out there now, all of them have problems towards the end of the list when the water is contaminated. The water in the anaconda stays sterile until it's all gone and the flow actually stays the same. So, okay, the first point is the water is sterile, but the second point is it now means you can use the anaconda for more than one list. So that has the added advantage of making the anaconda cheaper than any other system out there. The third advantage is again, if we look at the cost of actually manufacturing this compared to the cost of manufacturing the old system, as you can see from that, it is a much simpler, much easier to manufacture and build, so therefore it's actually cheaper 
than the, the different uh, endo caps that are all out there. So again, just to reiterate, the three advantages, your water stays sterile, you can use the water until it's all gone, and it's actually less expensive anyway. All of those benefits mean that, as far as we're concerned, the Anaconda is the solution to all endoscope water problems and helps your budget. Thank you.